Good morning, everybody. It is a little bit before 6.30 in Chicago Monday morning. A little bit chilly out today, but today is going to be a long run day. We'll see how it goes. On the menu, I've got four mile warm up, 10 miles at moderate pace, four strides for the workout, for the long run workout today. But hamstring, at least right now, still feeling a little bit tight, still feeling a little bit grumpy. So we'll see what this workout ends up being today. But no matter what, I think I'm gonna have a beautiful sunrise to run to today. Four mile mark, warm up over. I'm gonna get to some moderate miles. Still feeling it a little bit in my hamstring, but going a little bit faster actually seems to feel better for me. So I won't quite push it up to marathon pace today, but a little bit faster than easy pace. We'll see how long this kind of works. So far, feeling very good. Hit the turnaround point just a little while ago. Already took a gel at about two miles into the moderate effort. Got six and a half miles moderate left. So see how it goes so far. Feeling pretty good. The hamstring thing, it's still there. But it doesn't seem to be bothering me, at least not at this moderate pace. So I'm gonna go with it. We'll see how it goes. left of work today so seven miles moderate down feeling pretty good took a second gel cruising half a mile left of the 10 moderate miles and then i actually think i'm gonna try out some of these strides see how it goes I'm not going to push it too hard on the strides. Just looking to get some form, practice in. And uh, of course, it doesn't feel good to back off, but I'm feeling good. Fifteen point four zero miles total for the day, feeling really good. Having an absolutely gorgeous sunrise to run to here in Chicago. It did get a little bit cooler than it's been, so back to the winter hat versus just the regular hat for for today. But otherwise, just absolutely loving being out there today. I felt fantastic the entire time. I had the four miles of warm up, ten miles at moderate, which ended up being seven minutes thirty four seconds per mile for those ten miles. 
at 242 watts and 156 beats per minute. So a little bit off of kind of what my marathon effort would be, what I would normally kind of be shooting for for this kind of workout. Uh, but all things considered, I felt like this was a great way to kind of start off this week and to test the hamstring uh, a little bit in, in a pretty conservative way. As I started progressing through that 10 mile block, uh, I, I started to squeeze down a little bit on it and pick up the pace and add some intensity to it. Not that I ever got too fast, but you know, just gradually kind of increasing and easing into a little bit of a faster effort and that felt very good. So by the time I finished that, I went right into the four strides. Now normally when I do strides, I do that at uh, 20 seconds on and 40 seconds off. Really just looking for kind of like a, a form drill for those strides, picking up the pace a little bit, working on some turnover, but ultimately looking to make sure that uh, mechanically I'm giving my mind some practice and time at uh, how it should be running when I'm giving further effort. Uh, and normally that means trying to run somewhere around like mile pace. For today though, uh, I didn't want to really push it. I wanted to be very cautious. So I felt like even if I was just doing strides back at kind of the, the moderate pace, that would have been fine. I ended up being a little bit faster. I ended up being closer to kind of half marathon pace, maybe somewhere between marathon and half marathon pace uh, or effort uh, for those four strides. So I definitely got the point and the purpose of that accomplished in terms of just getting some quicker turnover. I felt like I was very controlled and I didn't feel any discomfort in the hamstring. So that felt really good and I felt like that was a great place to leave it for today. The next two days, I have easy runs coming up, so that should be more time to give the hamstring like more of a chance to fully recover. I don't have any workouts until Thursday, so that's gonna be, I think, uh, a very good thing for it. In the meantime, I'm gonna be focusing on the things that I've been doing ever since I kind of like tweaked the hamstring and also things that I've been doing kind of this entire block. One is to focus on sleep. I've been trying to get seven hours of sleep every night. Uh, some days I'm successful. A lot of the days I'm not, but I'm, I'm at least trying to get more sleep, uh, give my body more time to recover from the work that I'm putting into it, and also to recover from the strain that I put on the hamstring. So another important reason to kind of do that. The other thing I'm doing is making sure I'm getting in more active recovery when I can, which for me is doing a lot of walking. And the girls uh, are excited about the longer days and the warmer weather. And so they've been wanting to go on lots of walks. The playgrounds are open in Chicago again. So we've been going to the playground a lot. That's been a lot of fun for them. And it's been good for me and fun for me to do as well. Uh, and the third thing that I've been doing is not something that I've done every day, but what I did before this long run today, when I woke up, the hamstring just wasn't, I knew it wasn't hundred percent. So before I went out on the run, I did sit down while I was like kind of doing my normal, um, YouTube editing before I head out for my run, uh, I sat with a heating pad underneath uh, my hamstring. So that was something just to kind of loosen it up, kind of get it to feel nice and comfortable, uh, encourage blood flow to the area, that kind of thing. So that's something that I don't know that I'll need to do a lot more of, hopefully I won't need to do a lot more of, but it's a, another thing that I have in my arsenal just in case things aren't quite feeling so great, like right when I wake up or right before the run, it's something that I can uh, apply for a little bit before uh, I have to do anything. So it's now week five, I think it's week five. Yeah, week five of the Shamrock Shuffle training program. I think there's this week, another week of work, and then we're into taper. So the, um, the race is coming up very quickly upon us. And I think well, overall, it's in a, I'm in a pretty good place. Not exactly where I'd wanna be, but not too far off. I'm not gonna push it. Again, the whole point is to um, be cautious and leave myself in a good position after this virtual race to go and start training for some other races as well. So. I think we're in a good spot. If you have any questions about that, feel free to leave it in the comments down below, or better yet, feel free to stop by the live stream that I do just about every day, right here on YouTube, 3 p.m. Central Time. I'd love to talk to you there. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you're staying safe out there on your runs, and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?